What's going down, man? It's your boy, Donnie Houston. We celebrating three years of chopping it up right here on the Donnie Houston Podcast. Go to DonnieHoustonRail.com right now and get you one of these brand new Choppers t-shirts available in the mono black, tight white, in the gray type edition. What's going down, man? It's your boy, Donnie Houston, tapping in. Donnie I want to tell y'all about Miss Mary's Really Though Pie, man. If you know about Really Though, you know that's a Mr. 3-2 saying. So it's only right that his mom, Miss Mary, take that name and... Uh, Start this new pie business that she got going on, man. I want to tell you about these pies, man. Listen, you can't find these pies anywhere in the store. This is a one-of-a-kind recipe. This is gold. This goes all the way back to the family in Louisiana. The dough, listen, you've never had anything this amazing. Trust me, this is the most amazing pie you will ever have in your life. She got so many flavors to choose from. My personal favorite is the apple pie. But listen, sweet potato pies cherry pies you know peach pies man any kind of pie you want man miss mary got it and it's the truth really though so listen man call that number on the screen right now and get you a miss mary's really though pie tell a donnie houston sent you hey man it's going down these pies are amazing really though Shout out to Danny Houston Podcast, man. Man, talk about, because uh, I mean, after I do that, because I was just talking to my boy and I was like, nah, you know, when they did the, um, what's the album that came out there? You Gotta Feel Me. Mm-hmm. That was still under Sucker Free. Man. But, well, yeah, what, is that where the issues kind of started rising around man, that time? That, let me show you. The issues started right before while we trying to put the album together. Then you gotta feel me out. We 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 got we working on the next album. All right. Now the issue start like I say, uh, you know, we run out we run we basically run everything out out at the camp. So we had booked I normally do this man all the time. I book us like a twelve or nine stop radio tour. You know, all all radio stops, you know what I mean? I got to the point to where, I, you know, I communicate with a couple of guys at the stations, man. Look, I got the artists, y'all DJing at the spot. Look, let's just make this work where we break bread. You know I mean? Once we do it this way, you my designated guy here. And, you know, I ain't going to never let nobody else bring me in this market besides you. So, you know, it was easy for me to book book some radio radio tours but at that time man you know we was we was growing so we was growing so big and moving so moving so fast to to the point that uh, you know I had booked that like that, that radio tour and the flip father had just came home and I noticed he was you know come by and check on him and and you want to talk to me, Philip? You be right there in the living room and don't even want to walk out the door to go talk to your dad. Tell him I ain't here. I don't want to see him. I say, hey, wait a minute, hold up, man, hold up. You know what I mean? And the thing about it is, I had just lost my father about three weeks ago, hmm. over about a month ago, before you start treating your dad like that. So I was like, Flip, listen, man, I don't know what's going on between y'all, man, but. You ain't got but one dad, man. And and if y'all don't mean this relationship, something ever happened, that's gonna be you, man, with all this on your heart and on your mind, man. So, you know, find a way to fix this. I'm not finna tell them you're not here. You know, so finally they sit down and, and me and you know, talk to that and talk to that and you know Wes was coming by the coming by the office. So I noticed when I'm when we gone you would still come by the office and sit in there with the girls and because of my sisters and like yo them like your sisters because we like brothers. You still sit there laughing, talking, laughing, talking. You'd be asking about these these maps on the wall, what all these numbers mean and you know, most of them mean radio sales, most of them mean radio play, most of them mean markets we be in, markets we ain't being, you know what I mean? And and at the same time that this was it was you was getting overwhelmed with all these numbers and and what this label and your son was doing. While I'm out of while we out of town, I have a guy that's a close friend of mine. He's out of Cincinnati, Ohio, but his brother is in Daytona. 
and his brother does the Daytona Beach Festival every year. Now, mind you, we had just went to 10,000 a show. You know what I mean? And, and when they book us for Daytona, they try to at least book two days or three days, whatever they can get. But me, me and the labor have been down there twice. And look, D, man, I, I mean this, man. It's, you know, it's all right to go down there to make some money, man. But you know, I had young, them youngsters. You know, I had them you fly players. Yeah, yeah. You know how my label is. <laughs> mean, we all play. We, we so fly. You know, they, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's, it's natural, man. So we look, they looking to have fun, enjoy themselves. We talking about Florida, right? But at the instance, they weren't understanding that Daytona is a bit different from Miami and Orlando. You know, you you mostly down here where the Haitian cities at. So at the same time, man, my boys didn't want to go back down there. It was like, huh, man, I said, man, look, I got this Daytona Beach Festival calling me. They want two days. Young Reed didn't want to go run, flip everybody <laughs> didn't want to. No, man, no, don't send us back down there, man. I don't want to go down there, man. Man, please don't, let's not go back down. I understood them, man. I understood them because, you know, you know, some of them out there looking like me, you know what I mean? So they, it wasn't no flavor for them to play with. They weren't trying to even get involved. So I said, okay, well, fellas, we'll miss that. We won't even go to that. What happened to us, we was on tour, and my partner called me from Daytona, and Flip Daddy was at the office. And, uh, you know, he was telling me I had just, my phone had messed up. I was on another number. He was telling me he had been calling me, so he had to call through the office to get to me. So my sister put us on the speakerphone while Flip Daddy's sitting in the office. The man was trying to get us to do the to do the to do the Daytona. So I'm steady telling, nah, bro, we ain't gonna make it. At the same time, the dates he want is interfering with the two I'm making. I'm doing. Now at the same time, we signed with Sony, but Sony, we ain't never been into the Carolinas or the or Virginia. Hmm. We done been through Atlanta, right? So we got a tour going. And is that the, is that as far as y'all going on that side? Yeah, see, I, I came all the way back from San Francisco, all the way back across Texas, Louisiana, and uh, Mississippi, and we stopped in Atlanta. But Sony was saying, well, since y'all stopping here, why don't we go ahead and let's go in Virginia and the Carolinas? So they had, to, excuse me, they added three more dates to my tour. So I was like, well, okay, y'all, okay, well, yeah, well, well, while we here, we might as well, you know. Okay, so what happened was my partner calling me and talking to me about this about this Daytona thing, and I'm steady telling him no, and he's steady trying to tell me, man, it's going to be crazy like it was last year. Huh? Man, I got the bread. I'm ready to see you the bread. And I, and I steady telling him, bro, I can't do it. I just can't do it, man. And the boys, the boys on the bus with me, no, man, tell him we don't want to do this. Man, we don't want to go down there, man. Forget all that. Say, I hear you. I hear you. I said, man, my, no, we ain't going to be able to make it, man, because I'm booked up anyway on them days. He was like, okay. So I get off the phone with him. So I go, we go do, we go do all the stops, man, all the stops. We go do all the stops but Atlanta, Virginia, and the Carolinas. My last stop, we, we're in Atlanta. And all of a sudden, I get a phone call. I get a phone call from Flip Daddy. Hey, bro, what's going on? How you doing, man? How was the show? I said, man, the show was good. Y'all, everybody all right, everybody safe. Mind you, I'm already thinking, man, this is the first time you ever called talking about me some business. and asked me about a show and how we doing. And all. I'm just thinking, okay, well, maybe just checking on it. But I still got this thought in my head. I was like, yeah, yeah, everything good, man. I said, we walking in the hotel, we in the hotels now, everybody walking to the room. Yeah, everybody good. So he was like, uh, bro, I need, I, I need to talk to you. I said, okay. I said, what's going on? He was like, man, you know, uh, Flip called me, man, and he been complaining that his stomach hurting. Now, mind you, I'm, I'm, I still got radio people with me. We can rig go in my room and, and sit down and try to book us some more days to get back to Atlanta. So I told him, I say, uh, say that again. Where's he? Say, yeah. He say, Flip called me, man, and was telling me his stomach hurting. 
So I told him, I said, well, give me a minute, bro, and I'm going to call you back. So once I get the guys in my room, I step out and I call them back and talk to them. I said, what's that? What's that? He said, yeah, man, my son said his stomach been hurting like crazy. And I told him, I said, well, listen, I say, he be with me every day. He ain't never told me nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I said, but now if he told you that, it could be possibly true because, man, them niggas were drinking syrup like it was water. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, man, it was so crazy, man. Man, what they it was ran, that era, boys got boy, money. Hey, was, man, this was going at, on. And what they ran out of, man, they can have a bunch of shit. By the time we get to Louisiana after the second show they do, we got somebody else got to be on the plane the next couple of days. Man, that shit was crazy. I told Flo, I said, man, listen, man, y'all drinking too much of this shit. Shit, we all drink. See, y'all drinking too much, but they drinking more than me. Y'all young niggas. <laughs> man, I don't want no more of this shit. Hey, man, listen, man, I got somebody flying in, flying in. I told Flo, I said, man, you drinking a little too much, bro, I think so. So once I get off the phone with his dad, I go to Flip room, knock on the door. Flip got some people in this room. So I tell the bro, come out, let me talk to you. He says, hey, man, you all right? He says, yeah, big bro, I'm good, man. What's up? I say, uh, listen, your daddy just called me. My dad? He was shocked. I say, yeah. I say, where'd he call you from? I looked at him. I said, well, he said you called him and told him your stomach was hurting and you weren't feeling good. He looked just as bizarre like he ain't know nothing about it. He said, man, let me call my dad. So I said, okay. So I go back in the room with the people. I got over here with me. So finally, Flip, Flip called my phone, tell me to come outside. I come out the room. We go out the room. He said, yeah, I did call my dad, man. You know, my stomach had been hurting, man. Off and on. I just didn't tell you. I said, well, look. I said, we, we here in Atlanta, we got two off days. I say, uh, won't you, won't you, uh, you want to go see the doctor over here while we're here in the lab? It's like, uh, uh, yeah, let me see, but you know, uh, let me, let me, let me see. I, I might, I might go home. You know, my mama want me to go see a doctor at home. So I'm like, okay, okay. Now, some of this ain't making sense to me because you got to realize, Flip, you've been staying with me since you was damn near 17, 16. Damn near 15 from a kid, you know, you know what I mean? I've been having you with me for... At this point, y'all four, five years at man, least. Man, we five, six, seven years deep. So, uh, you know, anything happens to you, I always have to take you to the hospital. You, know, you ain't never had a personal doctor, you know what I mean? So some of this is ain't, ain't, ain't registering to me. So uh, I said, okay, well, talk to your mom, let me know. I mean, you come back and say, yeah, they... I talked to her, they want me to come home to go see the doctor. So I tell you, I said, well, I tell you what, listen, what you do, I'm going to call the office, had office to fly you home in the morning. What you do, go home to the doctor, you got, you got two days, and then fly on back to us, and we'll go ahead and go on into the Carolinas and the Virginias and finish it up. He said, okay. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.